Dear Jimmy, I'm reaching out to you because I'm in need of advice regarding a troubling situation in my workplace. As background, I'm a management consultant, a partner, and I have witnessed one of my peers, Emily, another partner, dismiss and dis diminish her subordinate, Alika, project manager, for the last eight months. Emily's behavior has greatly affected Alika's performance and morale, and I'm disappointed to see how this has been allowed to continue for so long. I've noticed Alika crying in the office at night when I go home, and it breaks my heart to see this situation, how it's affecting her. I have also noticed that Alika has updated her LinkedIn profile, which leads me to suspect that she may be looking for another job. As a management consulting partner, I want to ensure that everyone in our company is treated with respect and dignity. Alika is very smart and capable and a capable project manager. When she works for me, her work is flawless. However, I would, I'm frustrated that she didn't stand up for herself in this situation. I know Emily is under a lot of pressure and it's important that I be her ally too and help Emily through it. The other partners really respect Emily, but her behavior towards Alika is unacceptable, I think. I want to find a way to help Alika whilst also supporting Emily through her challenges. Can you provide any advice and guidance on how I can best support Alika to help her be more assertive and ensure that she's able to work in a safe and inclusive environment? At the same time, I want to support Emily and find a way to address her behavior in a constructive manner. Thank you for your consideration. Arthur. Um, hello, Arthur. So what I wanted to share in this letter is to, to give a bit of context. So Arthur is a senior is a partner, a senior, very senior leader in a management consultancy. And you he's concerned, you're concerned about an employee who works for you, who works in your organization, how she's being treated by another partner. So for those who don't know in management consulting, a partner is a senior leader. So that would be maybe a general manager, a senior general manager, a, a president, a vice president maybe actually a senior president in, in some companies. So you're looking at somebody who is senior le executive leadership level. We are talking about that kind of person. So, um, and so Arthur is a partner and Emily's another senior executive. Think about C-suite or a step below C-suite. And you are concerned that you're seeing her treatment. Now, you didn't tell me how large your consultancy is, but I'm going to, let's say, I'm just, I'm going to take an assumption that there are over 100 people that work there, right? So what's interesting is you, 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 you want to be an ally to Emily. So the, I think the biggest thing I would want to share, kind of three things. One, the big thing is you have phrased that you want to be an ally to Emily. It doesn't sound like you are prepared to be an ally for Alika. And you taking the step and asking these questions is, it, is an important step. I think the quick thing you can do as an ally is to have this conversation you're having with me to have it with a senior HR person and to actually report Emily's behavior to a senior HR person. So I, the piece I would suggest you leave out is the bit about Alika updating her LinkedIn profile. We don't know why she's doing that. And we don't want really to read into and speculate what she's doing. The question about how Alika can be more assertive. So again, that's something you can't change, but you are a senior leader in the organization. You have seen this behavior and it has concerned you to the point that you you are going home, and I know the hours partners work, so you're going home late at night, and she is still there working, and she is there distressed. I do wonder, did you find, did you reach out to her to find out why she was, what was going on? I think reaching out to her, letting her know that she has your support, would be really important if you want to keep her there, and if you, or you just want to be a good, a good human being, reaching out to her, letting her know you have, she has a support. You can see that her work is being affected. Now she's working with Emily. That affects your business. But more importantly, it's showing up. I wouldn't be surprised if it's not showing up in her home as well from working with Emily, from, Alika, from, from Emily as well. So my advice would be, I'd be less concerned about Alika being more assertive. That's not something that I would feel, feel is fair to put onto her as additional pressure from you. Um, it also may seem like you're trying to manipulate her to do something that she's not able to do. You've, that you, or you're not prepared to do. So I guess the question for myself is, I mean, how can, is there a way you could be more assertive and actually, again, have this conversation with HR? And I'm, I'm saying HR intentionally, or your boss, or you and Emily, senior manager, but copy in the HR team, because it's clear that Emily, it, it, from what you're saying, for you to write this, you suspect Emily is in essence bullying 
Alika. That's where I think we're dancing around that conversation. And really your duty to your organization is to, is to report that and to, and to make sure something happens. It may mean taking Alika out of Emily's team and having her work for you or somebody else. Um, but I would say that your job is to do that. Now it's tricky because, you know, other partners, your other partners like Emily, she's respected and regarded. Do you really want to be the one that go out to get go that goes out against her uh, by yourself? Because it doesn't sound like what you're saying, anyone else is seeing a problem with this, but you are. And Master Real, this is the trick, the, the challenge of being an ally. Because you may you probably are not going to be able to find that right, but it's gonna be it's going to be uncomfortable to be the one that comes out against the other partners to call out Emily. And there could be some politics involved and a dynamic with other partners that you don't want to be the one to do to pull that trigger alone. And if you decide not to do that, I mean, that is going to be your choice. The truth is that Alika most likely will leave. And you can't, and you aren't an ally. Because unfortunately, there is a real cost there. The, the ally move is to, is to take that risk and actually call her out and do it in a formal way, not just to say, not to hint or to imply, but actually say, you know, you've seen this behavior, you think it's bullying and you would like this to be investigated properly. And you'd also like Alika to be removed and put into a different team. You know, it's using your influence. And if you don't have space for her on your team, using your influence to get Alika into another team where she could be supported. Um, and to realize that she, it will may take a while for Alika to trust the the partners who are, who are seeing this treatment and not doing anything, she may still leave anyway. That's the, so I think the I think that the space is the benefit of doing that is if Alika does decide to stay, you've got this great performer that will that may take some while to get her performance back up because she's been shaken. But also, if she does move on, you've created a safe space for someone else to be replaced to whoever's going to replace her. You've made a safer space for that person because. The company then is doing the work with Emily. Emily's pressure she's under, you know, the beauty of taking them to HR is then her, Emily, her boss, and then her peers. You her, can look at how you can support her while she's no longer bullying um, someone that works, in for, works for her. So yeah, it's not the nicest thing to say in terms of advice. I wish I could tell you what you could tell Alika. I think if you're going to have a conversation with her, I want, I would, I would, wait until after you've had your you've, you've you've had a conversation with hr so you're you're clear that you are uncomfortable with this and for alika's standpoint just to support her and to reassure her that she's valued in the business and that you are going to help her find the role um and you'll support her in finding the role again if you think she does great work and you have space in your team that could be one answer right there but even if you transfer her out of the department i, I do feel it's really important Again, putting on the if you want to if you want to be the ally, is to file is to, is to send this letter, to, is to write a letter like this, and have this conversation with your HR department and her manager and Emily's manager, so that Emily gets the help and support she requires from the organization to be a better leader.